So if you're like me, you probably don't carry around a protractor everywhere you go, and even if you do, sometimes you want to have only the angle you want because you needed a whole bunch without all those other degrees getting in the way. This is the need that the Anglotron fulfills. A protractor is kind of like a 180 degree Anglotron. It's great at 180 degrees. You can make your own 180 degree Anglotron super easily from any piece of paper. Even if your paper doesn't have an edge, you can just fold it and ta-da, Anglotron! One extremely useful Anglotron is the 90 degree Anglotron. Many pieces of paper come pre-equipped with one of these, but if they don't, you can get one by folding a 180 degree Anglotron in half. Now you can draw all sorts of rectangly things and perpendicularities. Following the fold stuff in half method, you can get a 45 degree Anglotron pretty easily, or 22.5 degrees, or 11.25, and so on. And you get these weird looking numbers, but that's only because we started with something arbitrary like 360 degrees, when really the numbers we're looking at are a half, a fourth, an eighth, a sixteenth, you know, one over two to the n. It's not hard to fold paper into thirds either. Might take a little evening out, then bam! 180 degrees turns into 60 degrees, good for making equilateral triangles. Or put two together to get 120 degrees, a very common and useful angle for when, say, bubbles meet, if you're drawing bubbles, or honeycombs or something. Then you can start adding them together. 135 degrees is easy, 90 degrees plus 45 degrees. Now you can make puzzles for yourself. Say you make a 60 degree Anglotron and a 135 degree Anglotron. How do you make an Anglotron that completes this circle? Or if a friend gives you an Anglotron, can you make the complementary or supplementary, I forget which is which, Anglotron? And then let me know if this is going a little too far. Maybe you can put an Anglotron on your Anglotron, and now I have a 60 degrees and another 60 degrees, which comes over here to make another 60 degrees, and I've got an equilateral triangle polygonatron. And just in case you thought that wasn't going too far, why not make that into a polyhedronatron?